acclaimed writer and director Edgar Wright is well known for his much-loved TV and film work, with Spaced, Shaun of the Dead and Hot Buzz all under his belt, to name but a few. This year, however, he traded in his director's chair in the hunt for online glory and has produced a surreal but brilliant online series called Brandon Generator. I was asked, like, sometime late last year by Microsoft if I would be up for writing a, and this is what it said in inverted commas, an interactive animated comic. So I thought it was a really, like, interesting idea and, I, and then, you know, only in January I had, to, like, we had a meeting about it I sort of came up with the idea the next day and then like, you know, five months later we have four episodes, which is crazy to me. All of the artwork was created by Marvel and Lucasfilm illustrator Tommy Lee Edwards and comedian Julian Barrett of Mighty Bush fame provided the narration. Brandon was going out of his mind. Maybe we'd have to finally go out of his flat. With each episode, I think like Tommy, Tommy's animation has got more sophisticated and yet we've had less time for each episode, which is great. So it's been a really interesting experience because for the most part, not everybody's been in the same room together. Like, you know, I've been in either LA or London, Tommy's in North Carolina, and we usually just email each other. And, and in a way, just doing it through writing, you can be incredibly precise. So it's actually being extremely succinct about, I'll oh, change this, tweak that sound on this number, you know, so it's a really interesting way of working. Fans of the series even had a chance to contribute by writing emails and leaving voice message on the site, some of which were chosen to influence the direction of the plot, taking storytelling in a totally new direction. People would try and like write in Brandon's voice or even in Julian Barrett's voice. And so people kind of, I was amazed at how consistent like all of the pros were in terms of people trying to follow the story and try and write what they genuinely thought would be the next episode. That was great, it was really interesting. The story revolves around coffee-addicted Brandon, who's struggling to work out whether or not his whole life is a dream, facing the grim prospect of being deleted. With Microsoft funding the entire project, they were keen to show what their browser and HTML5 can do. And as soon as you load Brandon, the visuals are stunning and shows you just how visceral a story told through an internet browser can be. You know, there was an a autobiographical element to it in that last year I wrote the script on my own and some of the struggles that Brandon has in the, in the first episode I would have. So I sort of based that part on myself, but it wasn't something that like um, came to me until after the meeting. So it's a nice thing to have a meeting and then like, it's usually that thing when you're walking away from the meeting, you know when you usually think of like a, a, like a joke after you've like been speaking to somebody, it's like I walked away and I go, oh, yeah, Brandon Generator. And, I'd, like, and then I emailed them and said, I got a title. You know? So it was, it was really like interesting experience. Brandon Generator is the first of its kind, and the crowdsourcing elements have helped to create an entirely new genre of storytelling. It's truly original, looks stunning, and is immersive and interactive. Make sure you check out the full Brandon Generator over at www.brandongenerator.com. This was the brown roar of coffee overload. Espresso shots shot out of other Brandon's eyeballs. Suddenly his body exploded with coffee surging through his veins. He was foaming into a coffee monster, a mocha hulk, some kind of caffeine dough. Good name. And what's the next on the diary for the writing? I am doing another film with Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, which we're going to start very soon.